Hi everyone, welcome to the shack. So, uh, some of you might have seen the three videos that I uploaded um, about my trip to the Newbury and District Amateur Radio Society Rally 2024, a couple of weekends ago. Um, I purchased three radios, this is one of them. Uh, it's a Sterling International HA5900 and I'm not aware of Sterling International and I've been interested in radio a long time, um, but there are examples on the internet actually. Um, in fact, there's a, there's a couple of uh, YouTube videos. Um, I know this radio as the Amstrad uh, 6010 multiband receiver, which was the first shortwave radio that I ever owned when I was a kid. Um, uh, when I bought both these, I bought that as well. Um, I'll do another video on the Amstrad, but I bought them both together. Um, at the Nadar's rally, and I paid six pounds for this for the Sterling International, um, and I realised actually afterwards that there's two versions of the Amstrad. There's the six zero one zero and the six zero one one. The six zero one zero is from about nineteen seventy nine, um, and doesn't cover the CB band twenty seven megahertz. Um, and there's the six zero one one that does, and. I didn't notice actually until yesterday, I had the radios for about a week or a week and a half, that the Amstrad that I bought is the 6011 because it covers CB, Citizens Band, and this doesn't. So this is basically the uh, a clone of the Amstrad uh, 6010. Um, the guy wanted 10 quid for this and um, I ended up buying this and the Amstrad for uh, 12 quid in total. Um, and I've just been tuning through um, the aircraft band with it. And it's um, this isn't uh, a particularly high quality receiver. Um, as I said, dates from 1980, so it's you know already 44 years old. Um, I haven't tested it on shortwave, but uh, the Amstrad version that I got as a kid, I remember tuning through shortwave bands uh, hearing Radio Australia in the mornings before school um, but of course you know that's a strong signal on shortwave um, and uh, all uh, or Air India in the afternoons etc on shortwave obviously back in those days in the sort of uh, late 80s um, the shortwave bands were much more crowded than they are now but um, uh, the one I owned I think I kind of left it uh, my parents when I left. Um, I did buy another one uh, maybe 10 years later and that failed. The uh, band selector switch failed and uh, took it apart and it wasn't worth repairing. Um, I remember doing a video on that and saying at the time that you know one day I'll buy another one and so I've ended up buying two. It just so happens that one is branded as a Sterling International and the other is uh, branded Amstrad. So um, the only th this the Sterling International v version, this version is in better condition overall than the Amstrad I bought, except for the screen, uh, the plastic uh, over the over the tuning dial, which is sort of scratched. But um, a helpful subscriber uh, recommended um, some kind of paste or something that you can use to polish that out. So uh, I might have a go at that at some point. Uh, otherwise, it's in perfect perfect working order. Um, you can fit D cells into. I think it's four D cells you can put into these, so they are portable. I'm using it, running running it off the mains right now. Um, and you know, I've got an emotional attachment with these radios because, as I said, we um, it was the first shortwave capable receiver I ever owned. And um, when I was a teenager, my dad must have been significant have significant concern about how well I was going to do in my exams because he offered me five pounds for every uh, exam I passed when I was 16 and I managed to pass eight which gave me 40 quid which um, bought this radio you can um, you if you there's there's a website where you can look at um, online uh, editions of Argos the Argos um, catalog from the 70s 80s and 90s um, the Amstrad version is in there um, so uh, so yeah so I reckon for six quid given that it's in perfect working order not perfect condition but okay you can't go wrong for six quid can you so uh, so there you go what i mean there's some pubs you can go into you can't buy a drink for six quid so uh, i thought i got a bargain and as usual um newbury amateur radio society and district uh or new uh, nader newbury and district amateur radio society uh rally didn't disappoint um because that's probably one of the best bargains i've ever had 
six pound for uh, for a vintage uh, multiband receiver. So uh, there you go. I'll um I'll have a play with it and probably upload some videos at, at some point. But uh, thought I'd share that with you. So that's um, Nadar's Rally purchase number one. Thanks for watching.